In this video I will show you how to turn video footage into sketchy looking video. We will use After Effects straight out of the box, so you don't need any additional plugins. If you want to follow me step by step, you will need a paper texture and a video file. I will leave links to the footage in the description below. So let's create a new composition. I will choose 1080p, 25 frames per second and 30 seconds, that's fine. Let's import the texture. Here it is, 10 seconds. If you want to make it longer, you can loop it out by pressing right mouse button, time and enable time remapping. But I like to use shortcuts, Ctrl Alt T. It will enable time remapping. Let's add an expression, loop out, and we will have an infinite loop. Now let's duplicate this layer. Let's make one texture way, way darker. So we can do this by changing the levels. I'm using Video Copilot FX Console uh, to add my effects. You can do that by window, FX and presets and search for levels. Levels. But with this plugin, it is way, way, way easier. Just search for levels. And I will do the same for the, all the other effects. It's a free plugin. I highly recommend to download it if you don't use it yet. Now let's move this wide handle of levels until our footage become dark. But we still want to see a texture. We don't want to create a pure black color out of it. Something like that should work fine. Why we need that? Later in this tutorial we will separate the dark and bright parts of the video. Then we will replace the dark parts of the video with darker paper texture and brighter parts with lighter paper texture. It might sound complicated at first, but you will see that it's really simple. So let's import the footage and see how it looks in reality. The first footage that I'm gonna use is this footage from uh, Pexels. I will leave a link below in case you would like to use the same footage. I will import it straight into the composition. I see that this footage is 4K, my composition is 1080p, so I will scale it to 50%, that should fit perfectly. Yes, it is. Maybe let's make it 5 seconds. As I mentioned before, we would like to separate the dark and lighter parts of the video and replace them with those paper animations that we already have. So luckily we have the extract effect. Here it is. If we move black point up, it will extract the black parts. I will create a new solid, let's say red, for demonstration purposes. So you will be able to see what's happening more clearly. If, you, if I move this, it will extract the darkest parts of the video. If I will move the white point, it will extract the white points of the video. In our case, we need to extract the black point. Uh, in my experience, something around 60 works the best. And later on, we, we will adjust. So let's move the back black point to 60 and change softness to 20. We extracted some of the, those black parts. I will delete the thread solid. Now when we have the separated black parts of the video already, we can use the darker texture and use alpha inverted matte. That will disable the video, so all the, uh, all the parts that are not black will be this texture and all the other parts that we extracted will be this texture. So we basically use two colors which are our texture. It doesn't look good yet, so we need to add a couple supportive effects. The first one will be auto contrast. Let's move it above extract. Uh, let's increase the black a little bit. Let's add another effect, which is called unsharp mask. It will give us a little bit of more sharpness. As I move the slider, you can see that video is changing. I can increase the radius for more details. The radius number depends on the amount of details you need. I will probably stick to something like 2.5. 
and that gives me a look that I wanted to achieve with this effect. Let's try another example. This time I will use this footage by Ricardo. And let's download it. And let's import it to our composition. We can repeat the same steps as we did before, or we can just copy the effects that we already created. It's easy like that. And here is what we have. This part is not very contrasty. So I will decrease the black a little bit and that will give me a better look of this part. Let's try to increase the radius and that will give me more details of the clouds. And that's pretty much it, I think. Maybe I can even increase the black part a little bit. Now you can add some bright text on top of this footage and you will have an interesting looking lyric video. But it's not limited by this paper sketchy look. You can create a lot of things. For example, let's create a new solid, which is bright red. We don't need paper textures. And new solid that is black, almost black. And we can have a very contrasting, interesting red and black look. This is just a tip of an iceberg that we can achieve by using this technique. If you created something interesting by using this technique, please leave me a comment or tag me as SBLJ on social media. I enjoy seeing my students work online. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Gita Sardinavichis and if you want more similar stuff in your life, make sure you subscribe and turn the notifications so you don't miss a single one. And if you have any troubles on any stuff that we are talking about on any of my videos, let me know in the comments and I will try to help you as best as I can. And that's pretty much it. Stay creative and see you in the next video.